but we'll see. Obviously, formation map is on the broadcast. formation map gets the under drivers a, will have a uh, here in Saudi Arabia. Every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, the making sure uh, their car is ready for battle. I mean, so unfortunately, out. Alex Jakes decided to start commentating. Mate, this is my position here, all right? Just stick to Formula 2, I'm going to be talking. Uh, Dark Storm As the cars make their way back is going to the starting lead to us into one. Can Lansdown. I take over, Alex? Let's hope the race ahead today is Can a I please? one that will go down as a memorable Okay, <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm just going to log off there. Uh, yes, there you go. Now it's me leading the commentary team. Uh, no more Alex Jakes. I know you guys wish to listen to commentating. Well, anyways, racing, uh, racing is about to go underway with the Red Bull on pole position. It's going to be a nice fight. You can see, you can hear the roar of the drivers and their cars. Nerves are starting to build up right now. And they can just predict and see that run towards turn one. We won't even find out when it actually happens. Here we go, James. Here we go. Who's going to get the start? Get ready. Here come the lights. The five lights are on here in Jeddah. And the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix is under. We want a brilliant start. Oh, and there's a Ferrari sailing there. There's a big crash in the background. Oh, my goodness me. And it's Dark Storm who takes over the lead. It maintains ahead of Pazuzu but at the background. Much like in Formula 2 last year. A big crash there involving a lot of cars. Here we go then into the first corner. And it's an Alpine of Cameron absolutely out of the race. A little bit of a crash. He might have been too much for the Alpine. He's out. And the safety car has not been deployed. I don't know how. As we see that call making his way up into second place no pit stop strategy that's not what i care for steve will break is on the background dog storm he's now 1.5 seconds at the end of the pack uh, just pulling away as you can see at the back a lot of drivers wingless and this grand prix and uh oh look at that a move here at the background as you see the aston martin making it up and hicklin is all the way down to the back of the pack and let me ask you something uh james as you see is, is, who is that harvey Oh, and the beat of action oh. up to loop scenes here. Carnage, pandemonium happening as drivers have to take the outside track. Uh, and look at that. Look, I'm just going on board with JPP as you see drivers going slow and quick. At the same time, it's corner just mayhem. And a lot and a lot of front wings just literally being lost. Here in this first lap of the Grand Prix, you can you could have not asked for a more chaotic first lap of the race. And you're racing here, as you see Russell and Harvey here, uh, just having a go at each other. I'm gonna leave it back to you, James, because I'm gonna I'm not gonna stop talking if, if I keep talking here. As you see drivers oh. going off and, and fighting right, left, and center. Yeah, this, 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 fight fight from, this fight from P9 to P12 is insane. Obviously, we've now got. Is that Harvey and Russell have both gone into the pit and Richard Chappell has to get back through to the P8? But yeah, a lot of cars have gone into the pit. That was chaotic. Everyone was so close together. Um, a couple of cars went off the incident with Mercedes um, at the start. Your, 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 man, your driver of the day already, Le Bow, has, has made an absolutely flying start. So you should go out and start to buy that lot because I think you're on tour. <laughs> let's um, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I know it, I know it. And is that Max or losing that position? Oh, it seems like it's clean though. He hasn't lost it because of any crashes, but that's still Beethoven, the Mexican driver, up into third place. I told you guys to keep an eye on him. I told you guys to watch out for this guy. And he's up to third. Chasing down after everyone else and Maxwell, one of the favorites is out. Not DNF, but he's round facing the wrong way here in the strike. Oh, as he spins round, rejoining the strike. This is scene, James, and I'm, I'm, I'm just honored to just watch this race alongside you here. To see so much stuff happening at every second. There's a yellow flag. Picklin is out of the race. He just retired in the pit lane, and that was not enough. Do not bring the same. And we've got Ferrari. Ah, that was. Wow, wow. that was. Um... How is that not going to say? Oh, I'm... it's a safety car, isn't it? Oh, it's a safety car. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But sorry, it's a sorry. virtual car, yeah, as I don't see the safety car coming out. And my apologies, yeah. the Ferrari did not retire in the pit. Apparently, uh, Hecklin retired coming out of turn four. And we're going to go on board now with the Red Bull. Can we see just. Ah, uh, we can't see it. It goes to the internal to this, apparently. So it's a virtual safety car. It's going to calm down the drivers here. Lenbao is going to go for the big one. Look at that. Pit stop by Lenbao. 
Where is it? Although Lembao Lembao would have to pit again if he's gone into medium. So I don't I don't think it's the right call there. Maxwell has pitted as well. The over to say it's Storm, Storm now has the opportunity to play normal strat like medium hard. Or dependent if there, if there is a full safety car to come out, does 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 he play it long on the mediums and, and go reasonably long on the softs? I don't know if Lembo will go into the mediums is a good tactic. But yes, okay, he started at the back and he's up to P7 star, he's good, but he's gonna have to pit again. And if he manages to take the mediums all the way up, I'd be really surprised. Absolutely, and just ignore the Oh, there's a yellow flag. Is that Stow? Yes it is. And we're going to keep our eyes open on the five for second place uh, between the Mexican driver that made up seven positions oh, at the start. Russell's round. Russell's round. Russell is round and off the track. Uh, oh my goodness me. He's down to 12th oh place. He's going to do a little bit of pirouette. Uh, is he stole as well? the end of season yet. But this is brilliant stuff, James. Um, but... For, for a few of those drivers, like uh, Lin Bao, who's up to seven. Oh, look at that. There's a fight happening here. It's not over. Can we keep it clean, oh, lads? Russell's round again. Russell's Russell round is round again. again, but ahead of him, the fight that we look at. And that's a spin for Maxo again. Going for a little bit of a spinella. As he makes his way down to P11. Uh, another yellow flag. Stole again. Yes, he just, he just stopped on the track. JPP Gaming has been overtaken now cleanly. Oh, first, first clean move that we've seen here today. Uh, he's gonna fight back, surely. But let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, about the fight for second place. We're gonna go back to that in a moment as there's a move around the outside into turn one. It's not gonna happen. So, Steve was losing to Shaka as well. So, it's too many, it's too much stuff happening here on track. There's, there's always stuff happening, and I love it. I am here for it, you know, we, we can't both be in the same place or we'll miss all of the action. There's just that much stuff going on. I mean, JPP, four tenths behind Harvey, I'm sure there's going to be a little fight there soon. Um, and then V-Hope, obviously, four tenths behind Pazuzu, but Darkstorm running away with this moment for the options behind him and um, just the pace that he's managed to keep consistently. Russell has retired from the session and now, as he leaves, the fight for second place is very much on as now Beethoven has 100%. He's deploying everything with the DRS and the slipstream. It's an easy move, easy as you like as he makes his way up into second. And Pazuzu now, as you see a Ferrari literally facing the wrong way. It's yeah, never it's not a scary on. sight. And he's he's back on track now. He's managed to sort himself out and he is back on track. Absolutely. Uh, now the fight at the top is getting quite interesting. Can Beethoven, uh, let's just say, chase down after the man in second place? Both on the medium. Oh no! Uh, are they both on the mediums? Yes. Both on yeah. the medium compound tires. It's going to be a really interesting fight between them. Yeah. Now everyone's spread quite far apart. Oh, and Lemba with. Three second time penalty for exceeding track limits. And that was through the end of sector one, I believe. You need to be careful there. I th I, you know, another, another thing that comes into play at Jeddah is penalties. Keep clean with penalties, and I'm sure you'll, you could probably go a few places as long as you're staying close enough. But Lemba is really catching up to Steve. Uh, Lemba. Catching up to Steve, only five tenths of a second apparently. Now he has stopped, by the way. Just a quick reminder to everyone. So, uh, Steve is essentially uh, just slowing himself down if he fights the German from the very back of the pack with the deer ass. Come on, mate, just let him through. For the stream, for Matt. And there you go. Oh, he's gonna fight down oh. the inside. Is he gonna go for a little bit of a switchback? Smart, he's done. Although he has a penalty. Lenbao has a penalty. He does, uh, he does. James, it's going to be interesting to see how he wins the race, which he will, with that penalty. <laughs> <laughs> it will be very interesting. It will also be interesting that Maxwell has decided to pit from the softs to the mediums. 
taking it very, very slow for the sector one. I don't know if you can see. Ah, blue flag. Yeah, so Maxwell gone for those mediums. I don't know if he'll be looking to take those to the end of the race. It would be very triumphant if he managed to do so um, on a one-stop strap. Um, but the ball certainly is in Dark Storm's court here. Uh, could quite easily keep up this uh, level of pace. Beat Hoven's court by 500. Uh, maybe more towards a tenth of a second over the last couple of laps. But nothing significant. He could just keep it nice and consistent. Keep it clean. Go on to the hearts and then go on to win the race. Absolutely. Um, Pazuzu, though. Uh Losing and losing and losing to, to be for Vanessa. Only the first sector that's Maxwell out of the session. Oh my goodness me, another retirement. And we're gonna go on board now with Yao P. Yes, indeed. Coming out of turn 22, he binned it, but this time he won't be able to return to the racetrack as now race director has decided that the safety car is indeed the full safety car has been deployed for you, ladies and gentlemen. Which only he, at this point exactly only at this point so he had a little bit of time to think and this if you're watching if you're the viewer is absolutely perfect for you as you can see the gaps were starting to build up and uh the last thing that we want to see is a, a race in which the closest gap is 1.5 seconds now the pit stops are gonna come and is that uh is that perfect for the drivers who just decided to stay out all right I don't know. I'd say I'd say Dark Storm stay out. Take it nice and easy on the mediums. I don't know what way. Take it nice and easy. I mean, this could be a nice medium to soft strap. Um, much much quicker towards the end of the race than, than the medium hard. So that's that's my opinion. I could be completely wrong on that. James, so. James, don't don't say that. Don't say that. It, it's the night of wild predictions. So everything is possible here. Steve or break though will be literally flying against those medium runs. Uh, I'm still wondering how many drivers we're going to have on track by the time we reach the end of the race. So our prediction for Cody Maxwell has commented on the stream saying that he did have rear wing damage and then after that he was just completely undrivable, which is what caused his issue. But yeah, but yeah, like you said, how many drivers are we going to have on track? Because at the minute, only one man is going to be out the point to it. Now we're looking at Dark Storm. Yes, we're looking at you, and he is not gonna do what James did. So if this goes wrong, uh, James was right all along. Here we go, Dark Storm into the pits for a brand new set of tires. Is it gonna be soft? Is it gonna be hard? Oh. He's gonna stick some hards in there. But Zuzu comes into the pits as well. What does he do? This is absolutely fantastic. Except another set of cards. So no one is going. Uh, no one is going. Uh, let's just say. Aggressive. Now Beethoven now is gonna Oh my goodness, James. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Beethoven will be leading the pack into turn one as we oh, go back to racing. You're gonna say something about Lemba. <laughs> Lim oh no, no. I'm um I'm, I'm just leaving him as a surprise. He's gonna surprise me, so just you wait. Okay. Uh but I'm I'm looking at Beethoven, I'm thinking. If he manages to clear both the Mercedes at the start, he can just pull away. From, from them and the rest of the pack. And then, well, although he's gonna have to pit again, can he, with those seven lap old mediums, extending up from Dark Storm? It's, it's well, literally a, a fight between those two. My opinion here, Dark Storm will dive bomb the two Mercedes into turn one. Um, we'll get into P2. Beethoven will take off because he's got more pace than the guys in the Mercedes. And I think Dark Storm will catch him once his hearts have uh, warmed up. But, I, but now, now it's a question of do Dark Storm and Pazuzu do a two stop and go into softs later on in the race? Because those hards will start to become a bit difficult, especially in sector one um, towards the end of the race. So, what do they do? Do they, do they pit and sacrifice that time to get a bit more pace at the end? Um, the advantage that Pazuzu has here is that he just copies what Dark Storm is. Um, and so long as he keeps the pace up, matches or beats, then it, it, it's either of their race at the moment. But I, I still think um, Beethoven, it, it, he has to come in regardless. Well, just a quick info for you. At Lindbelt Labs, um, he's actually, his cyber performance is on 20% of 
squared medius. So, I'm just looking at his, uh, his stats. Really, really ruining for the Alpine there. The blue and pink car, let's see what he does from the very back of it. Again, the restory here. Started 16th, now 6th. Uh, well, let's just, let's just look and see what they do. Uh, Where's the fastest lap, by the way, uh, James? Uh, so, the fastest lap is uh, Darkstorm. Don't have the stat for some reason. Okay, let's ignore that. Anyways, the Grand Prix should be going back in the way as I see Steve will break at the very back of the pack, coming back in. So this restart, ladies and gentlemen, is what you are waiting for. Dark Storm needing to go for moves. And is he with that Red Bull gonna go for a Max Verstappen like attitude towards the front two uh, the front, uh, three runners? to send one or does he play it cool play it nice because he has a lot to lose especially when he's seen and proven that he has a pace to if not win get at least a second place at this point in time it's the ninth lap of the grand prix we have five drivers who are out of the race just 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 by going uh just going by association i'm seeing that if you only if you just finish you will get inside the points so you might as well just go for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's not really, you know, only only one driver at the minute. Um, so it's, it's all to play for. Just absolutely send it and give the viewers the entertainment they want and need this Saturday evening. And, uh, I don't think we should count Neclo out, but like, surely the Mercedes is going to have to do a lot to fight Beethoven. Well, is it impossible? I don't think so. And I think he's just as hungry as Dark Storm is for this Grand Prix win. Both the Mercedes could be gaining if the medium strategy works. They could be getting a double podium here in this Grand Prix. Well, we're gonna go for one more lap of safety call action. Here. One more. Yeah, that, that, this is this is Michael Massey making the wrong decisions one more time. Uh, it's just. Come on, do we really was need it, to go one more lap? Right? Was it the wrong decision? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> but we won't oh, get favoring the Red Bull, of course, as always. Uh, let's just uh, keep going for one more lap then. Uh, okay, okay. Wild prediction here. Oh, 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 Nerclaw! There is absolutely no way that in the Mercedes, under the safety car conditions, Neclaw just lost the back end of his car, did a George Russell, did a Roman Grosja, and just lost it under the safety car. The man who was gonna fight at the top at the safety car restart lost it by himself, which not only is bad news for Mercedes, it's bad news for Beethoven, which means that now Darkstorm, the, Mercedes, the Red Bull, only has one more position to fight. Uh, in order to become second place and chase down after Beethoven. So this has completely changed, James. And, uh, wow, I have no words. I have absolutely no words. Yeah, it's just it's, it's one less person, um, one less bit of trouble that Darkstorm needs to get into on the restart. Try and take Richard Chapel into turn one. Darkstorm's definitely got the pace on Richard Chapel. Um, and then Beethoven chasing down. Beethoven inevitably has to pit unless he's insane. And um, Darkstorm could take the hearts to the end. Difficult towards the end, but he could. But then again, what would Bazuzu do? What pressure would Bazuzu put Darkstorm on? That's the question as well. So. Um, but I, I think we're going to see a Darkstorm P1, Bazuzu P2, and I think we could see your man Limbao. Oh, actually, no. Could Steve -O? A fan favourite here, get P3, because the guys in between him and Pazuzu have to pit. Well, we're about to find out though, it's time for the restart, ladies and gentlemen. You see the drivers now going around the final corner, and oh my goodness me, Beethoven had the best opportunity to go back racing, but he decided not to. Why, why did he back off? I have no idea, now he's back racing, Chappelle with an absolute dreadful restart, but we're back racing, it's green flag 
here in Saudi Arabia is going to go back into the 11th lap of Grand Prix. Oh, there he goes, Nick, in the background. You can see him there with his JPP under pressure with the 10 laps. Old mediums of Nanaclaw, who's trying to make a little bit of a comeback. Look how close they are. And of course, they're going to go on ball with the LP now as he tries to fight. The McLaren is going a little, a little bit wide, taking the wrong line. Oh, the LP is doing so good. Don't want to make take the inside line. No DRS activated for the first two laps, but Darkstorm. But Lemba with the ERS open for his sector one, that is brave. That is very brave. And, uh, he's still fighting. Darkstorm, though, is literally as close as you can get to uh, to the Mercedes of Richard Chapo. Chapo is losing a little bit. What happened? Oh, look at that. There's the move. Fight between Lembau and Pazuzu and then Darkstorm and Richard Chappell. Oh, it's all there he comes. He's getting a little bit close. He's got the same one around the outside. The space is open there. But the door wasn't open, though. There he goes into the 11th flap. We have two battles happening at the same time. This is the race that we signed up for. And it's Mercedes versus Red Bull. Is Darkstorm going to send one at the end of the straight? There they come into the final corner. And it's not going to happen, though, but we're still... Keeping our eyes peeled on this fight between those two drivers on right. board now with the Red Bull. This is the action that he's been waiting for the past two laps. Is he gonna get it though? Too much at stake. He has absolutely no gear as to play compared to the car ahead. Lenbaum now comes into the pits, speeds in the pit lane, and my prediction goes out the window. Oh, oh, oh. I suppose some of the hard tires. Ah, I don't even want to commentate it. <laughs> Uh, Darkstorm just biding his time now behind Richard Chappell, but the problem with that is he's beat open to getting away from him. He needs to overtake the Mercedes as soon as possible, but he did lose quite a bit of time there for Receptor 1. Obviously, Richard Chappell on the mediums, but they are 11 laps old compared to the four lap cards of Darkstorm. He needs to just keep it clean, keep it tight to the wall, and smooth. Um, on the brakes and coast through the corners to try and get closer. Oh! And it looked like Richie Chappell made a mistake and went off track, allowing Darkstorm to get ever so close. It's now four tenths between them. There is a mistake that Darkstorm's been waiting for, although Chappell's medium tyres look to be working still. Good exit, that's what oh, he needed. Right there he comes into the final corner. It's going to be his best opportunity so far. He has to straight line speed. He has to lift the throttle as they go into the straight. Good defending by Chappell. Is he going to defend his car and put his in an ideal space? Let's just call it like that. But it's, it's not going to work for Darkstorm once again. And it's not working. What does he have to do? He has now will be enabled as it is. And that is exactly what the Red Bull driver of Darkstorm might have been waiting for. He's just playing it cool, playing it clean, playing it simple. And hopefully for his sake he's going to get a clean and easy overtake. But the fight between those two means that it's a 1.9 gap between Beethoven and the two. Yeah, Darkstorm has just got to make sure that he has a smoother set to one than he did last lap to stay close to Richie Chapel. But he Richie does seem to be getting away from him quite. Quite a fair amount in sector one. Um, happened to use the RS on the straight here up to the bigger left hander. And Harvey OT with a three second time penalty in the Alpha Tauri. Um, but yeah, Darkstorm just needs to stay close and allow that DRS to do the job for him. Um, and then quite quickly try and catch up to Beethoven. But he has made um, a gap to Pazuzu. But if Darkstorm can get past Richard Chapel, Beethoven has to pit. Um, and if he can manage his tyres well enough and take them to the end, this is Darkstorm's race to lose in the way. Oh, there they come once again, uh, James. Like, I can see now this being the opportunity with the DRS. Surely there's nothing that Richard Chapel can do. Or is it? Is he the, the defense massive? Can he maintain that second place? He's fighting with the hard tires. Oh, there's the move around the outside. He's going to go defensive now into the final corner. Is he going to go all the way around the outside? And that is a move to tell your grandchildren. As surely now the Mercedes is going to come into the pits. Hold on, maybe. What is it? Oh, look. There's the hard tyre. So maybe Harvey 
has just done everything that he had to. Uh, he could get a podium here. James. Now the field really... He could. He could get it. Um, but the field's really opened up now. And, uh, the only fight really going on is Steve and JPP. And again, like I said, I think if Steve plays his cards right here, he could well be on for a podium, P3. Um, Harvey, uh, sorry to interrupt you, James. It's just, to just go on board with Harvey, or at least look at what he's doing. Although he's quick, he's literally cutting through all the corners. Are, are we on regular corner cutting? <laughs> no, strict. Should definitely be strict. But yeah, he is. Ooh, there's the move. Oh, there's the move. Absolutely brilliant. And Nana Claus oh. not going to be happy with that one as they made contact with Bag Wheels. And uh, although Nana Claus is still on track and running, uh, he, he just lost a lot of time with that. Surely the students are going to have a little bit of a look at that. Yeah, and Toto Wolf, whilst we're speaking with a three second time penalty, multiple warnings for uh, exceeding track limits. That affect his race. Penalties really starting to come into play now um, in the top of the board. Well, top half. We've only got 11 drivers left, and Smith HP Dan currently 1 minute 31 seconds behind. Absolutely. Uh, Total Wolf now comes into the pits. And uh, as we go on more now with the cast driver of uh, Steve Wolf. But look at that straight line speed with the combination Absolutely of ERS rapid. and ERS. Nothing that they can do. And it's just, it just breeze past it's the uh, Red Bull of JPP Gaming. And interestingly enough, Toto Wolf and Nerdclaw, as they literally, that's an unsafe release. But that's not what that was, of course. Uh, Toto Wolf and Nerdclaw onto the soft compound of tires. Who's going to stay out in front? They're literally ghosting through each other. Uh, literally on the inside who's gonna be ahead there will to will at the pit exit is the fight for points here and uh, there you go ninth and tenth net clock comes out ahead of toto wolf and oh toto oh you should have gone to to manage the mercedes team and instead of driving as the german driver is gonna spin again on those fresh new tires but their temperatures are not necessarily up to their ideal temperature which is the the reason why you're just seeing him spinning out, crashing out, and now we have his end plate missing. Yeah, that didn't quite go to plan for a uh, Wolf, I don't think. Um, JPP is starting to get a bit closer to Steve again, but Steve's straight line speed was just completely unmatched there. This fight could come alive, although JPP doesn't have to pit. Uh, his tires are six or seven laps older than Steve. Uh, than uh, Steve Briggs, so it's JPP versus Steve here down the main straight. And he has cars. got 75% battery left. JPP really managing to uh, keep his ERS alive. For him. At, at this point in time, James, uh, do you think Beethoven can even? Maybe get a podium here because Darkstone is starting to close that gap. And uh, uh, I, I don't think so. I think he, he needs to come in. Um, I think it's, um, I think it's going to be Darkstone for Zuzu and Steve. Oh, but this race is indeed unpredictable. Yellow flag. It's a Ferrari of Smith. Was just cruising around the track, hoping for some points. As Toto Wolf comes back into the pits once again. Uh, and before we, we go into Dark Summer and Beethoven, we are really close to each other. 1.5 is the gap between the both of them. Uh, we see JPP Gaming again, and now closer than he's ever been. Lenbao is getting closer to this fight as well. So from the back of the pack, he could get snap some points here. If the drivers ahead get some penalties, there he comes with the DRS. Look at how close he is to the half. The oh, track versus Hassi, but look at that exit by Lembo. Oh, they go a little bit wide. It's three way fighting oh, here with the DRS to the outside. Exactly. Goes the German in between them on the outside of both of them. That is absolutely fantastic by Lembo as he gets the pair of them into one straight. That was awesome. They didn't see it coming. Drive up the bit, easy. Um, well, yeah, if definitely. He's, if, if he's not number one on track, he's number one on track. Oh, there's the move down the inside. 
uh, as Chappelle easily makes his way past Sophie P, who was fighting for P5, all of a sudden, down in P8. Yeah, and given um, what happened to him uh, in qualifying to be down at P12, and obviously uh, the race last week, um, I'm sure he'll be happy with the points this week. Um, but going from P5 to P8 and half a lap is obviously going to be disappointing for anyone, but I'm sure he'll try and fight back. And just a little bit of attention being brought into the fight for the lead. Storm is starting to catch uh, Beethoven. Last lap, he was one tenth quicker. Well, those medium tires are starting to struggle and struggle and struggle. And uh, as he continues very surely, Beethoven has to pit. If he doesn't pit early enough, he's going to lose maybe too many positions. Richie Chappell is going to lose a position again. And now JPP is back to seventh. And uh, it seems like Chappell was really struggling through that middle sector. Uh, turn 19, 18 and 20. And now he's down to eighth place. And now the pits are going to be the place to be for Beethoven as he comes in there. And surely he's going to put on a set of soft compound tires and see what he can do by the time we reach the end of the race. Yeah, and Beethoven just starting to come out of the pits now. So actually, he's really not in a bad position on, on fresh softs towards the end of the race. If, do you know what, actually? I'm, I'm not counting him out for running. I don't know what's wrong. Maybe. Maybe Beethoven can do the impossible, and if not a win, he can uh, get a podium. Oh, surely with Harvey's penalty, which we can check now. Uh, the fastest lap. Um, Harvey has three seconds worth of penalties. Oh, Lendau has eight. Uh, that's not good. Not good for him. But that no. fight, three seconds. Beethoven out is currently uh, in the net podium position. Can he, though, uh, go up into the top two? Maybe fight. Uh, he has to make up a lot, a lot of time. But who knows? Who knows? He, in this race, he gets a three second time penalty, which is not going to help his fight at all. And Darkstorm is just smiling from ear to ear with that information. One of the contenders for quarter positions in the but now being slapped with a track limit violation. Yeah, I think Darkstorm can uh, start to relax up there in P1. Maybe farm a bit of his battery back just in case something does happen. He is on sat 16% at the minute because he's on 25. Uh, he is six and a half seconds behind. I think Darkstorm can. Uh, can start to just make sure he doesn't make mistakes and um, don't go, don't absolutely send him out around the corners. Um, and uh, goes yeah, so, JPP, by the way. Seven lap older cards. He's looking to go for the most 67% of battery left in his car. And that Red Bull is going to go no further than P7 as of now. But we still have six laps, not oh. too many. Total Wolf has retired from the session. What does that mean? Is that a safety car? Three seconds of penalties for Harvey. As you see, he's probably getting closer. And indeed, James, oh, safety car wow. has been deployed. And is that a virtual? I think it is. Virtual safety car is being deployed. Here's is anyone one. going to take advantage? Is Pazoo, is Darkstorm going to risk pitting? Oh, surely not. Then again, no. JPP's out on 17 lap pads. Hasn't caused him too much bother to be still there in P7. Uh, Darkstorm will take this to the end. Absolutely. And another thing that I'd like to mention is the fact that uh, Smith. It's down in P11, 16 left. Oh, look at that, one minute behind the DNF car of Total Wolf. He's literally going to get points in this game. So everyone that finishes will get some points added to uh, their championship standings. Zuzu though will be happy with that second place after the win last week. And the Canadian is now leading the race. As the virtual safety car is going to... The ending in a few seconds. Harvey gets his right through oh, penalty. PSC. Harvey with a drive through. Beat over. 
could come through here, what we're on for penalties. Let's have a look. So we've got Beethoven with three and Lemba with eight. So this looks like a Beethoven podium if he manages to play his cards right right now. Well, unless anything too wild happens, you see Nelly Clark going for another set of hard uh, of soft tires actually as he comes up and pits head of his teammate of Chapel. Uh, another pit stop. No idea why. Uh, as both the Mercedes were in second and third. Now. 8th and 9th uh, green flags go green here in Saudi Arabia for the final 5 laps of Grand Prix race James uh, Beethoven well, from the position that he started that's not necessarily a bad a, a bad result he no, 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 no. he'll be happy with both completely and I am sorry to all the Steve fans that are watching the stream right now I I was convinced Steve-O was up there for a podium. I think too too many crazy things happened throughout this race um, for that to come to fruition. But we've still got four laps left, so you never know. But it, it looks like Darkstorm's going to take this away. Pazuzu P2 and Beethoven in P3. Um, but you never know. So much happens in 21 laps that I couldn't even recite it all back. Um, so so we'll, we'll, we'll see what the next four laps holds literally a race full of entertainment here full of carnage as expected from a Jetta grand prix there goes jpp gaming fighting with the hat providing us with some entertainment as he almost runs into the back of the ferrari powered car of steve -O. oh look at that with 19 lap old hearts he was looking to get that p6 some extra points added to his championship standings but it doesn't seem like that was uh, the final case for JPP Gaming, although he, he still has a few laps to um, not only come back to, to Steve O, but actually uh, JPP could make his way past him again. But still time. Uh, now, sure, Darkstorm is just pulling away. Just look at that. Well, if JPP wanted to be sensible about this and wanted to just guarantee himself a P7, he does have 20 seconds behind him. He could pit. And get himself on some pressure tires because those 19 lap hards they are gonna be difficult to drive towards the end of this race well james what's interesting is that although they're difficult to drive steve is not able to just pull away from jpp so jpp although his tires are not optimal in terms of performance look at that he's already back to the back of the Haas car of steve -O. here comes jpp now Remember, Harvey is serving his drive through penalty, so there's an opportunity there. So but there's it's another place there. Actually, yeah. out of this corner. And Steve's straight line speed is absolutely phenomenal. And I think that might be why we're seeing JPP catch up to him throughout the lap, and then Steve just takes off on those straights. Especially on a track like this. The right, James, with that all those uh, quick corners. Even the corners are just taken. Let's look at the light speed here. It's taking through like 200 kilometers per hour. Yeah. You hardly break around this track. So, and let's just remind ourselves of the penalty that Harvey has. Oh, so, Smith HP down with another three seconds there. Yeah, so Harvey <laughs> has served. Sorry, but how is that going to change his rates in any way? Oh, it's absolutely not. He may as well. He may as well take all the penalties he can get before <laughs> being disqualified just to catch up. But I look at GDP though. Um, Harvey, let's see how many uh, receivers he captured. Up. Harvey has six seconds worth of penalties. So now, JPP, JPP has 92% battery that he's not using with two laps to go. To just what is this man it from Steve? Get the DRS open right now. Press the RS button. There we go. <laughs> Just instructions. Give him instructions. Give him instructions to get past Steve O, who is looking defensive into the final corner once back. again. And he's a switch back. A dream's gonna work. Oh, now they're and side JPP's side. JPP's got the DRS. Press that ERS button, and he's not using it. What is he doing? Is JPP enjoying the stream? And he's like, Do you know what? I want to fight this hard and appear on the stream. I want to be P7. I, I don't want to overtake Steve. I'm in I, I, I think I it's, just, a, it's just an awkward number, isn't it? 
P7. It, it is a lucky number. It's a lucky number, but... I mean, maybe. Maybe that's what I'm doing. I, I simply... I'm absolutely baffled. I have no... I have no words. Why is JBP slowing down and not getting past? Oh, it's that Pazuzu! Is that the Brad McLaren that was second no. in the Grand Prix with three laps to go? Beating out coming out of turn 18, and that. It's okay. It's okay. He will still be on podium in front oh, of Lemba. That second place, though. Second place gone. Got a lot of races in the season. And we do have comments from Cowan saying silver on comms. Yes, please. Very happy with the comms there. Oh man, um, absolute scenes here that we see. So you see, even though the gaps are just really big between the drivers, oh, there you go. Now, finally, the move is going to happen. Steve-O is going to get past JPP, and it seems like some there was some sort of big mistake by, by Steve-O. It's the only way that JPP was going to get past him anyways, because he just wouldn't go for the move. I'm not sure why, but now JPP has to make up one second in two laps in order to... Uh, get Harvey, there's a yellow, oh, Beethoven, Beethoven, no, no, he's gonna spin around, he's gonna collide with Limbo, who now promotes his way into second place, it's a five oh second God. time penalty for Beethoven now, he spun round, he didn't make his way out of the track, and that was a crash for Limbo, and Beethoven, who now loses second, and third, Pazuzu is just smiling, he's just literally dancing in front of those two drivers, as Beethoven, is now with no front wing trying to finish this Grand Prix. This is absolutely fantastic stuff, as you can see. And my goodness, could you ask for a better ending as there's carnage everywhere? Literally, James, you cannot look away. We need a we need a dip four drive to survive series on Netflix. I'm calling it. Someone will get Netflix and get this made into a series. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Lembao, I'm telling you, if Dark Storm has an incident. A Limbao win for uh, I, I don't know, last second. A uh, well third, who, who, you know, has the penalty and is about to do the overtake. There you go. Looks like he secured that if he doesn't, could go for the switch back going out wide, but he has closed that door on the inside. Unbelievable. Oh, indeed it is. Indeed it is. Let's just take a look at the penalties now. Uh... Forget about the tire compound, forget about everything. It's now the penalty fight between those drivers and Beethoven has eight. Lin Bao has eight. Lin Bao from the very back of the back. What was my very first prediction? I said that one of the bottom three drivers were gonna finish on the podium. Yes, saying that Lin Bao was gonna win it was a little bit wild. But the very first prediction. Oh my goodness, I just lost it. I, I just, oh my goodness, my headset just went off. I have lost James. I cannot hear anything. So James, I cannot hear you, but we're gonna finish this Grand Prix. My headset just lost its batteries, but my point was that Limbo from the back of the pack has the chance now, if he finishes this lap, to finish not only on, on the podium, but from the back. He can do it, and my prediction can come alive. Although, just a quick reminder, I cannot hear you, James. I'm sorry. Dark Storm now through turn 25 as Steve-O gets a time penalty, which is not going to make any big difference. We're going to see this ending of the race. Dark Storm, what a fantastic performance by this man. He got a pole position, and now as he activates his nothing, he's just going to come to cross the line as he sees the checkered flag first. Dark Storm, the Canadian wins in Jeddah for the very first time, his very first victory of the season. Pazuzu now, 22 seconds, even though, although that he crashed out, not out though, he crashed but not out, he's still in, and he's gonna finish in second place after a very mad and entertaining and chaotic Grand Prix, Lindau from the very pack, from the very end of the pack, he's gonna come home to serve his five second time penalty, but that doesn't matter because from the very back of the pack, the German is gonna finish on the podium positions. My prediction, game alive. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, the prophecy has come done as Beethoven now finishes fourth from 11th as well. Very good performance, although, oh, sadly for him, he's lost it. Coming out of turn 20 with two laps to go, Harvey. Fan favorite is gonna finish B5 ahead of JPP Gaming. Good points for Red Bull team ahead of Stevo, Richie Chapel, Necklaw, and 
finishing last on the point positions. Literally one minute behind. Let me just check the gap to the leader. That's one minute and 30, a whole lap uh, behind uh, Dark Storm. He's gonna finish last. He's gonna be the last one to finish. And as he crosses the line, that is very much it. What a ground break that we just had. And uh, although James might be talking to that, I'm gonna, right now, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask you to, I'm gonna ask you to invite the drivers at the top grade to the, uh, to the party as I uh, look for some new headphones. Um, just invite them and please encourage your one. Do you want me to do P3, P2, do P1? Absolutely. Just one quick question. Do I have to tick a box because I don't have one? Oh, no, you don't have to, mate. You don't have to. No. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so we'll start it off with P3, then bow. What a race. Obviously gutted for qualifying. Um, starting from the back, making your way up to the podium. Um, can you just describe how that race was for, for you? Uh, uh, I don't know, the, the race was, holy shit, I don't know, oh. <laughs> I'm speechless, no, yeah, Q1, terrible, I don't know what happened, I spin off, uh, yeah. Oh. Well, you had an say. unbelievable race to keep your head throughout that, even with the penalties, um, yeah. to get yourself on the podium. Uh, was no mean feat today, um, especially around the, the street circuit of Jeddah, which everyone knows is so fast, um, and Sector 1 is so dangerous, uh, especially um, today, it was extremely dangerous. So, so well done on the podium and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. All right, and then we go to P2, Pazuzu. How was that race for you this week? Um... Well, I had no confidence in the car. I think that showed throughout qualifying, throughout the race. Um, I was way off the pace. I mean, Darkstorm drove a great race. He was so fast and he was consistent. So fair play to him and, you know, good race to him. Um, I just I just don't know what to say. I was just really slow. I think I had my tyre pressures too long. I just felt like every corner of my car was just going to give away. That's well, all I can really say about the race. <laughs> <laughs> well, you managed to keep it. You managed to bring it home P2, even with that incident towards the end of the race, which is um, Tell me about very, it. very well driven. Um, managed to keep your head and, and bring it back for a podium finish, which, after a race win last week, um, can you know is, is big points for the start of the season. No, I'm, I'm very happy with the points. Don't get me wrong. I just felt like I sh should have done that. Okay. Um, and. Uh, Matt, do you want to take it away with our race winner at Darkstorm? Well, absolutely, I will. <clears throat> the man that starts a front pole position is Darkstorm here. Yeah, I'm here, but I didn't. I don't really speak English or just. Yeah. Or are, or are uh, you Canadian? <laughs> yeah, I'm Canadian. I speak French. Oh, okay. No, no problem. 
you can just speak no problem. however you want. Just so you started on pole position, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, really great Grand Prix for you. Uh, fantastic stuff. And um, yeah. you managed to keep the McLaren behind for yeah. all the race. So you really did fantastic in this Grand Prix. Congratulations. How Thank are you, you feeling right now? I'm really, really good. I see uh, Pazuzu in back of me. Uh, I see is really aggressive and really fast at the at the um, at the start of the race, but I keep going. I think during the race, and is that I have my uh, teammate in the party. He helped me with my strategy and all that. Mate, congratulations on that result. That was really, really good by yourself. And uh, coming from the Bavarian Grand Prix, you now another night circuit. Um, that's it. That's a win for you. And uh, yeah. well, good luck on Thank you, Grand Prix mate. next weekend. Congratulations, mate. Thank you. Have a great day. You too, mate. You too. Well, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you just heard the Grand Prix winner, uh, two different winners here in SLR. Uh, Division 4 um, Fantastic Grand Prix and uh, before I end of course I'd like to thank you James for uh, spending alongside myself for those crazy laps of, of Jenner No thank you, it's been an absolute pleasure Absolutely and um, just can someone remind me where do we go for the next round? Australia Australia mate, let's go let's go, really interesting track and uh, if you thought this track was full of uh, the apps, just wait for the next one, ladies and gentlemen. That's it from me. That's it from James. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys next week for the Australian Grand Prix.